Hey YouTube, uh, this is a video following on from my Dectane front light uh, details. These are the Dectane rear lights for 997 Gen 1s. So, um, I mean, if you're here looking at this, you've probably already done a fair amount of your own research on this, but perhaps you're just missing some real life videos. You know, what does it really look like? How well do they really fit? How do they work? Do I or don't I get um, errors and all that sort of stuff? Well, I'm hoping I can help you there because uh, I bought these three years ago and they've been in the car for three years so I can tell you what they really work like because uh, when I bought these three years ago there was little if any real world experience out there and I just had to go off what the manufacturers said which is obviously positive, obviously. So. What's to report? Well, first of all, um, I personally think they look excellent. They, I don't like aftermarket looking things myself, and these are literally a, I'll call it a 95% copy of the Gen 2 lights. They're exactly the same. The only place that they're different is, for obvious reasons, this section, because the bodywork does, or the rear bumper does that on the Gen 2. But aside from that, and you know, now that I've owned these for three years, every Gen 2 I see, I, I get right up and close to it to check. They look exactly the same. They do not look like a cheap imitation or a cheap copy, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered putting them on. They fit perfectly. Uh, you do have some small adjustments that you can make inside, and that's not because of these lights, that's just because from the factory you there is a way that you can adjust them. Uh, I'll switch them on and show you how they work, obviously, in a sec. Let me just talk about issues first. Um, the first being fog. Now, it's about 12 degrees today. Definitely no moisture in the air, nice and dry. But we've got condensation. Now, a bit annoying, because it would be nicer if it didn't happen. What makes me feel not so bad about it, and the reason I didn't rip them out the first time it happened, was the first time I went on a, you know, a bit of a car meet, as you do, I saw a Gen 2, and I walked over to it, and obviously it's got original lights in it, and it did exactly the same thing. And I spoke to the owner, and he said, yep, yeah, it does that all year round, all season doesn't really matter it just does that you know at the end of the day it is right next to the engine so it's going to be some pretty epic and sudden temperature changes which is what causes it um, then I've spoken to other owners and they say it's never happened to them at all this is of genuine uh, lights now people who own gen 2 uh, and then online if you have a look some people say yep yeah, it's never happened to me before and others said it happens all the time so not, I'm not too fussed about it, uh, and it doesn't say this for very long, I've just driven it, so it disappears quite quickly. Um, I've never had any warnings come from the dash about it, which is brilliant. Again, if it did, I probably would have got rid of them, got rid of them quite quickly. I'm going to show you how they work now. There are some slight differences to how these work versus how the normal Gen 2s work. I'm going to just, uh, show you that now. So here they are in their normal lighting mode. I can already see, I guess it's just how the phones are and uh, cameras don't really pick up LED lights all that well. They don't look, oh, I can't explain it. it. Looks like you can see lots of little dots in real life. If you were standing here with me right now, it doesn't actually look like this. They look just like a normal Gen 2's lights. Gen 2's drive past me at night time and I look at them compare them to mine, exactly the same. The quality and the way the light looks is exactly the same. This actually looks quite bad on camera. So it's not a real good way to look at it. But anyway, you know, I've got to show you. So, let's see if I can change the settings on the phone to make it look either better or not. No, but trust me, they, this is exactly what the Gen 2s look like. They are slightly different in that, 
by the design of the light. A Gen 2 will light up along here, up to the top, over to here and stop. This bit doesn't light up at all and it just looks like that. I can't show you the brakes because I don't have someone else here to press the brake pedal, but what happens with the brakes is you get a section from here, it looks like a C. There, there, and there lights up extra bright. I'm not a huge fan of it looking like that. I don't know, just because I think that if someone was behind you, they'd think that half your light's not working, but that's just the way it is. So there, there and there lights up as the brake light and you're probably thinking well what happens over here this section operates as a fog light so this section here and it actually does that on both lights because if you own one of these cars you'll know that the fog light doesn't just operate on one side it's both sides so you'll get exactly the same thing over here I'll show you the indicators there they are. Look really cool in my opinion. Uh, again, there's no compromises on this one. This is exactly what they look like on the Gen 2 because nothing's changed. Gen 1, Gen 2. I think the reason you have the, the slightly different design of the brake light. Gen 1, Gen 2 is because Gen 2's got this bit cut off. So, yeah. I'm not sure how the Gen 2's reverse light operates, whether it's LED or halogen, but this actually does have a small halogen globe in the centre. I'll, I'll show you that now. Here we are. Small halogen globe. Which is nice and bright, to be fair, um, when you are backing up. Plenty of light to see what you're doing. Plus you've got the park. Uh, sensors on there as well but yeah that is it I think I've covered everything if there's anything you want to know that I haven't mentioned by all means leave a comment but I'm pretty sure that covers everything all right thanks for watching